What is up guys, this is Theo here, coming to you live with another coding tutorial. I'm going to do another video on TypeScript, so as you can see here I got the TypeScript lang.org, this is the playground open, so that's the URL down there in the left hand corner. Um, you can go to that and you can write your TypeScript and it will compile it to JavaScript, which is pretty awesome. So today we're going to build out an interface, basically an interface is just like um, an inline model that you want to declare. It's used in a lot of other languages like C Sharp and Java, um, a lot of strongly typed languages. And this is just so you can create an interface and say we're working with arrays or a data structure or set, you know, whatever data structure we're using, we can, uh, you know, set parameters and restrictions on what the user actually passes in um, in terms of value types. So we're going to make an interface. And we're going to call it uh, Graybook. Do it like this. Graybook. And this is going to accept a few parameters. It's going to accept a grade as a string. It's going to have a grade, which, which itself is going to be an array of type. Uh, can we do object? Is it like that? Not find name object. Uh, let me see. We'll just pass it any for now. An array of type any, and then we'll refactor in a second. Um, let me see. If we can do it like that. Array of type object. All right, I guess that works. An array of type object, and then we'll have. So we'll have a grade. We'll have a name. Which will be a type string. Our right, grade will be grade will be of type number. Name will be of string, and um, we will have a. What else should we have? Number string, and we'll have. A, let's see, pass or pass passing. All right, I guess just pass. That'll be of type boolean. Well, that's our interface for the grade book, and so it's only going to accept those parameters. So now we'll create some functions. I have a function add grade, and this is going to accept a grade book. All right, um, it's going to accept a grade of type grade book. And basically, what we want to do with this is we want to. Uh, Grades dot push uh, the grade. What is this saying? Cannot find name. This dot grades. Stuff grades dot push grades. Okay. And then this dot push. Actually, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this dot push grade name. Passed. So we're just going to pass that whole object and then we're going to return the stuff grades. So if we let me see what's passed. Cannot find name pass. Passing. Why is it not looking up? Passing is passing. Grade. So add grade is a grade of oh. grade dot name grade dot grade grade dot passing. Actually, this will just accept the whole this dot grade dot push. This will accept the whole grade object. So if we run this, we'll do console.log, actually let's run it a few times. We'll do add grade and then we'll give it we'll give it um, a grade of 50. What grade am I getting? Property name is missing. Oh, okay. We'll give it a name of Theo and a passing. Of true. And what are we getting? A 
Street. Mm. Let's see. And then, yeah. We'll just do. Actually, let's take out that. This stuff grids is an array of type object. And we take that. There, we got that. Stop grids equals an array of type object. Actually, let's do. Let's just take that out. We'll do this dot grades dot push. We'll do with this dot grades. Uh, do array and then add grade. We'll add this on a few times. Rick. John. Luke. Now if we console dot log this dot grades or console dot log grades. What does it say? I find name grades. We'll do public grades equals public grades is gonna be an array of type object. And we'll set it equal to that. Continues label. We'll do grades. Return grades. Let's see. Cannot find name grades in it. Okay, and then we'll do interface grades. And this will just be take grades and it's an array of type object. So take grades, grades to push, this is public, interface grades. Grades and array of type object. We'll chain add grade and we'll see if we get grades. What's happening with that? No, it doesn't like that. So, public class grades. We just have a grades of grades of type array type object. Push. Public grades. Grades to push. Property push does not exist on type of grades. Array of grades. Yeah, it does not like that. Property push. Uh, public grade. Public class of grade. Not find name grades. Hmm. Not sure actually. So that's the interface. Let's work through this. We'll do this dot grades. Is an array of type any. And we'll initialize it as an empty array and we'll do this stuff grades. Not find name grades. Stuff grades.
to see if we can do this. But print is equal to print red of type E. This will be an empty array. Okay, and then this will be let's see if we can get this. Return grade. Okay. So that should work. If we log out what what's in the grades object, if we inspect this, we should get an array of four, which has an object of Theo, Rick, John, and Luke. Got the grade, the name, the passing. So I know it took a while, guys, but basically we implemented this interface and we set up our function to accept you know, all of these. Uh, what's in what's inside of here? And then we set this variable grades to an array of type any, but we could also set it to an array of type string. And I think the compiler would, let's see, is it compiling? Uh, let's see, array of type number. Right now it's going to complain because it's not a number array. And similarly, if we did Boolean, it should complain. It's not assignable to type Boolean. I think if we do object though, what I had before, it should be happy, but yeah. So that's it guys, that's how to implement your basic interface. You could have used var here, it doesn't It doesn't really matter. I think it should still work. Uh, let is just more uh, ECMAScript 6 friendly, I guess. It's, or you could use const, constant, if you don't want your grades to change. Um, but yeah guys, that's it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Like, comment, subscribe. Give me any feedback, always appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.